One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. One, two, that's it. Ring the bell. The Poison Pixie has returned. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Riverside, California, Candice LeRae. One of the most decorated feet. The pit bull has been released. And representing Diamond Mine from Knoxville, Tennessee, one half of the women's tag team champions, Ivy Nile. Candice LeRae, one of the most decorated female superstars in WWE, misses wrestling herself. A competitor in the same vein as her indie wrestling brethren, Candice LeRae is driven by passion and will do anything it takes to win. We'll see if all that passion will pay dividends now. And on the other side of the ring is the unique Ivy Nile. She's been compared to both China and Beth Phoenix during her short time in this business, but I think she's really set out to forge a path for herself. In football circles, Ivy would be called a spark plug. A powerhouse like Ivy, she's the product of a strict regimen and a single-minded will to win. She is, so to speak, a true diamond. Nice. Kick to the gut. Break the round into a neck breaker. Attack from behind. Right after the neck. Forearm club. Jeez, that could take you out. Suicide! Tornado DDT! Just a devil may care Whoa. attitude on full display. Yeah. Going for broke and it pays off. Candace LeRae is going all out. LeRae stifling the opposition now. Yeah. Ooh, that might have just broken something. Whoa. A counter by nine. Ivy's finally able to slow all that incoming offense. Ivy got tired of being pushed around and wants to gain the advantage now. Man, this is about as close as you can cut it. They're playing with fire here. Great wherewithal to beat the count. I think this match still has a ways to go. She is looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Quick thinking pays off. Oh man, just punishing. Candace on the receiving end. Slam. 
Their opponent's legs all tied up. Ouch. Get this just unloading and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Things not going how she'd like. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Uh oh. What a hurricane. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Look out. Next floor suplex. Into the pin. There's two. She kicks out with authority after two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Right. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Snap suplex. Two. A torturous knee. Mounted with punches and not oh a nasty stop to finish it off. And gets tossed back into the mat. And now she's climbing to the top to taking flight. Flying into the corner. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Not where you want to be right now. Oh, what a right. Climbing up toward the top now from the second rope. Oh, oh, right. Way better than Johnny's. Niles on her last breath. So this down. Pure instinct and adrenaline right now. And so now Candace has to stay on her opponent. She can't get caught up and allow breathing room at this point. Oh man, that hurts. That passion from Candace is absolutely driving. Candace Lorraine looking to cinch it in. Here it comes. Blocked in. Uh oh, the end is near. No way she survives this. I think she's got. She had no choice. Ray Gunner. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Here is your winner, Candice LeRae! What a moment for her to earn this victory. Yeah, she got a huge win here. This sort of win shakes up the women's division.
get that. Look at the size of this man. Seven foot three inches tall, 400 pounds. The true colossus of WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria. Weighing in at 400 pounds. The Nigerian giant, Omas. You want to talk about how dumb Confidence and arrogance on display. Here is the heartbreak. And his opponent from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the heartbreak. The rebellious and defiant HBK ready to get going. Do you agree with those descriptors, Byron? I do, but they all could be chopped up to passion. Michaels is a man that lets his passion show up. That just might lead him to be a big blazer. That passion will be on display tonight and put to the test. And he literally has a mountain in front of him in the form of Omos. Yeah, Corey, the seven foot three Omos has easily been one of the most shoulders down. It's going to take more than that to keep him down. He's trying to get this done fast, looking to avoid going into deep waters. Music. Is there any life 
Neglected old man. Two. Shawn Michaels did it. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. Here is your winner, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels! Well, you can't really argue with a win like that, guys. This is the product of hard work and in-ring adaptability. He's got all the tools, and he put them to use tonight. It's over. Hit the bell.